Alright, welcome back guys. This time we're gonna be checking out the devil in me. Um, this is the last part of season 1 I believe, which consists of 4 parts. So far we've checked Man of uh, Midan, which was pretty cool. I've heard a lot of good things uh, about this game. Um, lots of uh, positive reason reviews. This part's gonna be, I think, about... Um, a group of filmmakers who are gonna be invited to some some house, which is a replica of something of some sort. And uh, let's just say things won't go well, as usual it is with these uh, games from the Dark Pictures. So um, let's uh, check it out, shall we? Um, I'll go with forgiving. Controller is just so much better. Some DC leaders take those lives away. Rest in peace. The wheel is 264 feet, Jeff. Can you imagine it? I'm attempting to. I bet you can see for a hundred miles at the top. We should make that our first priority. Whatever pleases you the most. 1893. You mean you are not weary of me after an entire day of marriage? I will never be weary of you. I shall hold you to that, my dear. <laughs> I can sense something spooky is gonna happen. Grand. As advertised. Very nice. Let's check in. Are we the Hello? ones here? I'm sure that was a mad dash first thing this morning to get to the fair. Hello. Well, this does not bode well for the level of that didn't take long. Before. Everyone must be busy elsewhere. That's no way to run a business. Slow service. That means they're making sure everything is perfect. That's my Marie. Always finding that silver lining. My sincere apologies. Oh. For both startling you and for making you wait. My attention was needed elsewhere. Needed elsewhere, trying to get rid of the skeleton. I promise from here on out it will be nothing but silver linings. Welcome to the World's Fair Hotel. Please oh, just can't wait. Sign in here. The guy was smiling, I was First so excited. Time in Chicago, I'm going to hazard a guess and assume you're here to take in the exposition. The fair, yes, but that's not all. Today is a very special day for us. 
Oh, a honeymoon. How very, very lovely. Nobody actually asked, but okay. <clears throat> Perhaps my wife, Feels Mrs. Like Whitman, would like to sign. The facial expressions are a bit awkward. Yes, today's the beginning of our honeymoon. Congratulations. In that nice case, pan. an upgrade is in order. A honeymoon suite it is. Oh, well, uh... Are the rates that much higher? <laughs> I think nothing of it. Sounds the good to be true. I think nothing of it. Room. The upgrade is on us. You're our first honeymooners. Right. So kind. Thank you, Mr... Holmes. Henry Howard Holmes. Uh oh. We have a lovely hotel, Mr. Holmes. Well, thank you very much. I designed and built most of it myself. Is it the guy who had his own hotel and killing everyone? Builder, doctor, artist. Feels like it. I'm a man of many interests. I'm a man Impressive. of many skills. Please have a look around. We have sundries and gifts at the pharmacy counter. I'll take your luggage up to your room and ensure that everything is in order. Just make a note if you decide to purchase anything and we will add it to your bill I'll just ensure that I'll be able to get into your room guys while you're asleep and get Thank rid you, of you Mr. Holmes we appreciate it the pleasure is all mine Thank you Mr. Holmes we appreciate it some expressions are so over exaggerated Definitely. What did I forget to bring? There is a reason why the upgrade for the room is free. Oh, pardon me, miss. Careful, you. My husband gets awfully cross with men who act fresh. Hmm. He sounds like a ripe fellow. How's the marriage going? Lovely. Thanks for asking. Well, let's just head up. I'm sure the room is ready. See anything good over there at the jewelry counter? Anything fancy? Wouldn't you like to know? Here we go. Why do I have a, why do I have a feeling they won't be getting out of this alive? Wonder what's in here. Oh, so I think uh we're this is like a history of what happened and then we'll be playing as the a group of filmmakers which is going to be in present time and uh yeah, I know where this is going. Don't think they're gonna survive. Ferris wheels, forbidden rooms. Are we looking for excitement? Perhaps. Nothing but an unfinished room. See what happens when you chase a thrill? If this is you trying to get out of the Ferris wheel, I know. Nice upgrade. So romantic to spend What's their that? honeymoon here. <gasps> Don't move. It's, it's the guy carrying dead bodies. Okay. Stay calm. <laughs> Sorry. Nice. Oh, lost. A wrong turn, it would seem. This room is being renovated. It's not safe. Of course. We... You of course. Have. Of course. We didn't say any Mr. dead bodies. Saying private. Must have. 
We're very sorry. I can't have you falling through floors and having your brains dashed out, can I? No. Again, we apologize. I think nothing of it. I'm only thinking of your safety. Wouldn't want you to get hurt. Yeah, thinking of their safety doesn't want them to get hurt so that he can't hurt them later on. God damn, it's a bit disappointing. I was pretty sure I'm gonna press the button on time. Welcome, newlyweds, to the honeymoon suite. Thank you kindly, Mr. Holmes. Do enjoy your stay. Thank you kindly, Mr. Excuse Holmes. Me, I have work to return to. I'm sure we'll see each other again soon. <laughs> Goodness, this place is fit for a king. Or my queen. Oh, you. Kiss this. That is not very wifely of you. Hey! Ah, bullseye! You asked for it. <laughs> Should I be frightened? If you're smart. <laughs> Okay, you win. Anything broken? Only my pride. How about a peace offering? Hmm. This feels like some sort of treacherous plot. Not at all. I have a gift for you. Close your eyes and face the mirror. And then the guy's watching them through the mirror. If I get a pillow to the face, I will sock you right in the kisser. <laughs> Is there a problem? No. Open your eyes. Oh, Jeff, it's lovely. I love it. Good. <laughs> Victory is mine. I'll let you have that bath now. Let's see, what did I tell you? I knew it. So predictable. It's jammed shut. Maybe if we put a little weight into it? Huh? I was pretty sure I was pressing X. That's weird. Oh, okay. For some reason, instead of X, Open some other button was doing that. <laughs> Thank you. Why don't you have a shave while I take a quick bath? Then we can reconvene. I know that word. It's French for something illicit. <laughs> Shush. Shave. I think I forgot to pack my razor and kit. I'm sure the pharmacy downstairs has them. Don't be too long in that bath. Don't you worry. There's a reason as well why the door was closed. Let me check the settings real quick.
that's why in the settings it was set to an Xbox controller, not PlayStation. So makes sense why the X wouldn't work. Shall we have a pick? Better not. So in this part we can't see our future when we're looking at pictures. And then same thing happens to the bathtub. It's gonna open up and... Oh! What's gonna happen here? Huh. What was that? Some kind of poison? Mm. Oh, Pablo, I need to cut out this part. The razor, I'm sorry about it. It's just Well, it's been nice knowing them.
I'm gonna put the ring there. Place for everything. Everything in its place. So then all of that jewelry belongs to the previous uh, victims. Only the best for you, my dear. Here we go again. Mother would simply die. It's so I say, popular. good man, do you work here? Hello. Welcome to the World's Fair Hotel. Nice to see this guy is still alive. Oh, you're here. Have you been waiting long? It's always good when a familiar face returns. Obviously, you're in the mood for a new tale. It's so good to have company. For a long time, I was on my own. I can barely recall a time when I wasn't here, watching over these tales. And what good are stories without somebody to experience them? This is a story about those who create and the lengths they might go to for their art to be made pure. Art can elicit all sorts of reactions. Delight, inspiration, desire, yes, but also doubt, fear, dread. The way you react, the decisions you make, would affect this story. Hidden in the world, you'll find dark pictures. They give glimpses of the possible consequences of your choices. And sometimes it's the smallest choices that can have the biggest repercussions. You're responsible for what happens. You're culpable. The details of the face are so realistic. I can't interfere. That's very much against the This is an ultra settings PC by the way. What happens and record any significant events. I hope uh, the choice to investigate, um, I know that that thing got them killed. I wonder if I uh, if I would have picked some the other one if they both lived. Probably not because it's like a, like a slaughterhouse. Uh, that guy was a serial killer. So it was also in the past. So I think no matter what choice I picked, uh, it it wouldn't matter because this is like a like story of what happened in the past. Oh. Ever seen one of these? They're very old. People used to call them obols. They'd put them in the mouth of the recently deceased to pay the ferryman. Look out for them. You'll find them in the strangest places. I'll be happy to exchange any that you find, and I'll certainly make it worth your while. Well, shall we start? Game is afoot. I will be watching. My name is Kate Wilder. I've got a master's in criminal psychology. I'm an investigator. Such a useful, useful degree. Get a journalist and hope to make a difference. You may have recently seen my interview on Chicago AM on... Exactly. <laughs> uh, 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 and, it's like uh, whatever. And yeah, it's really tough when just being honest... That's where with everything. A bitch. I'm not sure I've got issues to deal with, same as everyone. I I'm working on it. I... Hey, I'm Mark. I study photography at UCLA. Um, at a great time. Really want to get back into some serious photography. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, it's a, it's a job. I've been a key grip and lighting tech for years. See a problem? This one, this girl looks so much like um, Fliss, what's her name, from uh, Man of Medan. Like her face looks exactly the same. You don't often meet someone like that. Man, how do you even start? The voice as well. So I'm same actress. On my own. Sorry, do you start with qualifications or um like personal info? Because I don't I mean, will anyone access this? 
I'm kind of private, actually. Uh, yeah, Charlie Lonnett, UK originally. I've uh, been here for 20 years. The last series was so on track. It was uh, it was a very beautifully conceived and um, didn't quite uh, uh, hit the mark as I was hoping it would. It's a fucking mess. So seems like some someone who's gonna invite them over to a replica of that killer's house is watching their um, interviews. So, what do you think? You know what I think? I think we're gonna find out what's gonna happen in the next part. See you later, guys.